Good morning. It's just gone nine o'clock on Sunday the 28th of July 2013 and um, here we are with another video update on work on site at the Yorkshire Wolds Railway. As you can see we're inside the coach at the moment which is going to become the visitor centre um, and uh, progress to update in here is we've got some wiring in now for lighting which uh, has now been patched up in terms of paintwork. We've now got the end wall here painted. We've moved away our storage facilities uh, and, and cupboards and so on from there to get all that painted. So the only thing that remains to be done in here really is a bit of patching up and then getting the new doors in place. Uh, and then we will look at uh, getting the display side of things sorted out, but that'll still take a little while. Through here, as you see it's a lovely sunny day, although it rained very heavily overnight and was quite windy. Um, through here we've got, this is the, the little guards area when the, uh, this carriage was in use and this has now all been painted out, just about, still needs a little bit of patching up here and there, um, but this is now looking much more um, welcoming and the ceiling still needs a second coat and as you can see we will have lighting in here as well. So that's the inside of the coach as it currently stands and uh, I'll take you outside now to show you uh, the rest of the site. So here we are on the uh, outside of the site. Uh, here's the coach. And I just wanted to show you uh, the work that's been done painting this up. This These bogies now look spick and span. Lovely and clean and bright colours. And we're working on replicating this on the other side, but it's important to get this side done first because this is the side that faces the road and that most people will see uh, when they visit the site. We have here our rainwater collection system to help us uh, with cleaning and so on. Now down this end yesterday we had uh, a digger on site which removed some of this earth bank to create space to lay a couple more track panels. So there's another track panel that's going to go in here. And then this track panel will obviously be properly laid and tamped down over the next couple of weeks. Here's Eddie, our locomotive. Hello Eddie. With a rather lovely set of steps going up to it. And then the other thing that got done yesterday was uh, the laying of more track panels and more ballast. Well, the ballast has been laid over the last few weeks. We've had teams of volunteers with uh, shovels and wheelbarrows, essentially, getting this ballast laid out. And then yesterday we had on site a grading machine, which leveled out a lot of this ballast, which is why we, you can see these areas where the ballast has sort of spilled out from where it was originally laid. That's because of the grading machine. Obviously we'll tidy that up and use the excess ballast to tamp these um, track panels down. Now these aren't connected obviously, they've just been laid out approximately where they will go. Uh, we also have uh, a bit of an issue at this point where there's a bit of a dip, so we'll need to put some more ballast in here. But these are now all of the track panels that we had on site, which were previously stacked up at the end of the site over there. Are now laid and uh, once they are joined we have a little demonstration line so that when the visitor center is open to the public uh, people will be able to take rides on the uh, on the locomotive up and down this demonstration line and that obviously as you know is phase one of the railway side of things we still have space for a couple more track panels so we'll be looking to get hold of those and we'll be putting this ballast out. You can see where the grading machine's been to get this leveled out. So there's a bit more work to be done on, on making this fit and proper and getting everything connected up, but uh, step by step, this is coming together. At the other end of the site, where we nearly are now, this is where the track panels had been kept. And you can see now that the road planings that we've been receiving from East Riding of Yorkshire Council have now been laid out to form the car parking area. We still have some 
quite a big pile of road planings at the in the middle of the site and they'll be spread out over the course of the next few weeks to complete this work and you can see I think I've shown you before we've got our new gates uh, and the new tarmac area we've also put in if you can see behind the the, the steel gate there's a, a, a fence here there was a we did have concerns about security here that there was a bit of a gap that people could get through so we put that fencing up just to make the site secure and again there's a short stretch of fence at that end as well now over the last few weeks the uh, sunshine that we've had has obviously been a great boon to all of the plants in the area so the pedestrian footpath has in places become a little overgrown so we fortunately we have a volunteer who has some equipment who's going to help us out with getting this uh, cleared and we'll obviously keep this nice and clear for volunteers and eventually visitors to be able to use to get to and from the site. And then you can also see here that there's a there are gaps um, in the in the trees as the tree line essentially we do intend to, to fill these in with hedging or trees as part of our planning permission that we screen the site from the road and indeed at this end as well so there's still quite a lot of work to be done on in terms of the aesthetics of the site and what the site is going to end up looking like but uh, obviously you can see that quite a lot of work has been done and the progress is moving forwards so that's uh, the summary of where we are at the moment and uh, now I'm going to uh, get to work on shoveling some more of these road planings around the site and uh, getting these spread out. So I'd better get to work and uh, I'll update you again soon. Thank you.